Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome back to Railway Empire Patchwork. As you can see, uh, the buyer drill hole is now running to the warehouse. We have plenty of trains that are all complaining about uh, a lack of supplies. Uh, I didn't realise they've got so many uh, supply towers missing along the routes. So we do need to drop a few of those in. I just think over here might be a good location for one. There we go. Uh, take these signals out. Uh, I've got a train that's just reset from the conflict. Uh, I've got some problems over here as well. Uh, I knew about this one. I forgot about this. Place that one on the corner here. Uh, could do with one running this way. I'm going to put a supply tower here, wasn't I? There we go. Uh, I've got a maintenance station there, so I don't need to worry about anything going that way. Uh, plus, we've got one at the other end over there. Got one going in on either of those connections there, so I think we're good in that respect. Got one that way. Yeah, okay. So I think we're okay for those now. I'm just going to very quickly replace those trains. There we go. Uh, we've got some points to spend as well. Uh, I'm going to look at some of the older ones again. Uh, we'll increase our gain of innovation points by 10%. Now getting 48 a month instead of 44. Uh, so we've got some growth in our cities. This one's almost at 60,000. Uh, we've got 60,000 hit now in Karlsruhe. So let's add in uh, a museum. Because we need to connect... Uh, we need to get, what, how many cities? Ten cities up to uh, 120,000. We've got three so far. Uh, so Karlsruhe is done. That should boost their fulfillment of demand back up again. You can see it's already starting to climb. What are they short on? Quite a few goods. Uh, Castle. Uh, Castle's fine. 138,000. Koblenz is uh, slipping a little bit. We'll come back to Koblenz in a moment. 137,133 and a half in Cologne, 110,000 in Essen. Essen needs a little bit of a boost. Uh, they're just not getting enough of any of their goods at the moment, are they? We'll come back to Essen later. Frankfurt is at 113. Again, Frankfurt's struggling a little bit. Uh, second business available in Freiburg. Freiburg's all the way down here. Uh, what have we got that we could put in here? that could work well with the other industries. I think we could go with dairy, perhaps. We have got uh, a dairy connection there. What do we have below? Ah, we could go, maybe... I was thinking we could perhaps go with Lederhosen, but we've... Uh, we've got boots coming there, from there, so... Yeah, we could connect in. Do I have can access to that uh, territory? I do. So let's drop in a, uh, a small train station down here. Let's run wool up. Because we can use the wool in general, but on top of that we can also uh, set up a uh, another tailor's down here as well. Why is that bridge playing up? There we go. Mine in. That signal at this end. There we go. train set up and actually before we do that uh, I need to actually put in the uh, the tailors don't I that would help now we can add the train in we'll get a couple of trains running 
Uh, do I have trains running from uh, uh, Stuttgart? One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, let's get a fourth one. And that one will get to focus on boots. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, where were we? We were down here in Freiburg. Let's uh, continue rolling through our cities. Uh, good to slow at 74,500. That's not too bad. Hanover's low. Oh, Cottbus. Cottbus has a brand new industry slot available. So, uh, we might go dairy over here, actually, because we don't have any dairy in this region. And we do have uh, Kraus Quarry quite close by. So let's do that. Shame we don't have fruit nearby. We could do a distillery. Just looking around, actually, see if there is any fruit in the area. Not close. There's hardly any fruit anywhere, is there? Oh, there's some fruit all the way up there. Uh, I think we'll save that for Posen, actually. We'll bring the fruit down into Posen and put the distillery there. So let's put a dairy farm in just here. There we go. Let's check how many dairy trains are running on this line. Just the one. We need to uh, duplicate that now. Get extra dairy running in. We know we've got uh, a free industry slot over here in Posen. So we're going to grab the fruit from over here, uh, which is locked off. Okay, we need to buy that territory. Pomerania. There we go. Land of the little dogs. Bring that in. Keep the line above ground. See the little tweaks that we make just to change the elevation. They make substantial changes to the cost of a route. There we go. That route was uh, nearly 400,000 a moment ago. Now we've got it down to 147. Much, much cheaper. Just by changing the elevation on a couple of spots without actually rerouting the line at all. Removed a bridge, removed uh, a tunnel, removed a deep chasm. Well, I'd say deep. But removed uh, sort of a, uh, a groove that we cut through the ground. Those slight little changes. Those three little points that we put in saved us... Uh, nearly 300,000. You can't go wrong with that, really, can you? Signals are in. Ha! Even a transport revolution is still commanded from above in Prussia. That might be the number of trains we needed running, I think, possibly. I don't know. Uh, we'll check that in a second. Let's get uh, fruit running in here. Oh, that's a Baldwin 10-wheeler. We want a Class B. There we go. So what tasks did we just complete? Oh, access to 16 areas. Okay. Uh, so we're still working on our population issue. Uh, let's come back to where we were, which is Cottbus. Uh, Magdeburg is improving. Posen, we've just done Posen. Uh, they are almost at 100,000. Zabrücken up to 159,000. Stuttgart. Let's throw in a museum over in Stuttgart. Improve their uh, demand fulfillment by 10%. That should now tick over 60 again. We speed up time. You can see, there we go. We're getting growth in Stuttgart again. Uh, Weimar is at 39%. That's pretty low. There's nothing else really going in there at the moment, is there? Uh, Worms. 
stalled at 58%. What are we short on in Vorms? How can we boost Vorms? Needs dairy. Needs uh, sugar beets. Needs candy. It is trying to produce candy, but it's short on uh, fruit and sugars at the moment, by the look of it. Okay, where is Vorms? Vorms is here. Do I have fruit being delivered? That's the only train running out of here, is it? Okay. Got two of those trains running. What about sugar? Sugar beet fruit all the way over there. Do I have a closer supply of sugar beets that we can tap into? Uh, I've got sugar beets over here. It's not necessarily closer, but... It's a sprawling mess, isn't it? <laughs> the amount of track that we've got all over the place. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit interesting here. Because uh, these sugar beets we can route to all of our other cities as well. So I'm going to put in... A, uh, a large station here so I can route trains out in multiple directions and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run through the mountain and connect up on this line down here I think Bridge over, cut through. It's going to be expensive, but we've got the money, so I'm not too worried about that. I just want to make sure that uh, we're going to be clearing these objectives as quickly as we can now. There we go. So, very expensive on that first piece of track. The second will be much cheaper because we'll be paralleling the tunnel and the bridge. Look at that, almost a million cheaper. 922,000 cheaper for the parallel tracks. That first one can always be the uh, you know, the really expensive one. Once you've got that in place, the parallel is usually considerably cheaper if you have big construction costs. Uh, again, we want signals. Get those in place. Okay, uh, and then we can use this to route trains through into Stuttgart. Uh, we can route trains uh, through into Freiburg, and we can come out through the back here and go in that way if we want to, or come in around the other side. We can also loop trains, um, uh, sorry, loop sugar beets. Actually, it is just these three, uh, these cities over here. We can certainly loop, uh, loop into Karlsruhe uh, as well. I'm just going to start initially with... Uh, here. Like that. Get three trains running in there. What else is Vorms struggling with? Uh, potatoes, wood, meat, beer, sauerkraut, clothing. They're struggling for everything, aren't they? Dairy. What about dairy? Still getting some uh, trains that are not getting their supplies. Ah, well, they're about to, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, scroll all the way back down again. Really starting to struggle with a bit of lag with the amount of stuff that we've got going on at the moment. Uh, yes, we'll take that. Where is 
So shorter pit to Worms. I've got two trains running at the moment. Let's throw in a third one. They're obviously struggling. Do we own Shulter Pit? No, we don't. They're producing plenty, though. Uh, I am toying with the idea of uh, pumping this up to four tracks. Let's do that. Let's go four tracks, and then I'm going to take that connection out. Ooh. Bit of a weird glitch there. Uh, I'm going to bring this straight onto here like this. So that the trains that we have running from uh, from Shulter Pit to Vorms do not get held up by other trains this way. Hoping that that will promote faster growth and transference of goods. There we go. Of course, it could potentially break the new Shulter Pit train. Yeah, that's kind of broken it a little bit now. It's going to have to link out and go around this way. But that's fine, because from that point... Oh, no, wait. This is a different one, isn't it? There we go. So all these uh, shoulder pit trains... Shulter pit goes to uh, Castle, which is all the way up there. I don't think that train's even necessary anymore. We'll leave it for now. Shulter pit two, duplicate of that one. That's just a straight shulter to work uh, to Worms. We're going to. Uh, change that one to that platform there. A couple of trains over here that don't have a supply tower. Pong that in there. And now that I've got the right route with the right number of platforms, etc., we'll add an extra one in. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. What other city was close? Zabrucken is fine. 160,000 people in Zabrucken. Uh, Stuttgart is growing again. Good, good, good. They do want sugar beets, don't they? Yes. So let's get these sugar beets rooted in there. That's nice and handy. Signaled. And supply towered. There we go. Get that running in there. Uh, what else does uh, Stuttgart need? Potatoes. And beer and sauerkraut and dairy, cheese, etc, etc, etc. And we've just added in... Uh, did we just add in a dairy over here? No, we didn't, but we do have forms. 
still waiting for more over here. Uh, growth is stored still. Got those materials. Get materials there. Plenty of fruit now for the candy. Uh, let's buy the candy plant. And expand that industry. That uh, means I'm going to need extra grain coming in because of the bakery. Uh, we could maybe get rid of the bakery. Replace the bakery with something else. Because we've got a bakery there as well. So, yeah, let's do that. What can we, what, what, what we put in instead of the bakery? Let's, uh, let's buy it and take it out. 3.3 million. This is an expensive way to remove it. Demolish. There we go. Right. So, what can we throw in here instead? We've got potatoes over there. We could potentially do uh, sauerkraut, but I don't think we've got salt anywhere over here that we could easily root in there. Where is the nearest salt connection? Is that it? All the way over there? I think it is. There's salt all the way down there. So... Yeah, that's a long way. Do we have potatoes down here as well? No, some of these goods are really, really randomly kind of positioned. Uh, and once again, we've got this industry here that we could do something with if only we had an, a supporting industry for that particular product. There just isn't one, so it's a bit random. Uh, you know what, I'm really not sure what we could throw in there. <clears throat> can't see anything that would easily and conveniently drop in there. I mean, I could run potatoes on a, on a bypass line all the way down through here and then come into a, a bypass station over here at Worms. And then the salt... We could actually then run this way and then connect up to that bypass line over here as well. So maybe that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Because uh, it's certainly an industry that can uh, benefit over here and over here. Uh, possibly even going into Frankfurt as well. Frankfurt can get it from Castle. Uh, but it's certainly an industry that can support the nearby towns. So I'm going to drop that in on this side over here. Uh, I need another station. Something's blocking it. My museum. Okay, we'll demolish the museum and put that in on the other side of the road. On the other side of the rail. So, I need to bring this over this way. Let's increase the number of platforms here, for starters. Let that train go through. Clear the signals. That's close enough. Break them both. Never mind. Uh, 
I want a uh, crossover on here now. This wants to route all the way over to here. not to put a second station in Frankfurt. I'll uh, I'll do a bypass of Frankfurt for now, just in case I do decide to put a second station in there. Uh, we can then come back in and then we can just reroute these lines through Frankfurt uh, on their way over to Worms. But for now, we'll just do a, a bypass around the edge. And I could have gone through, but if I do decide I want to put the station in there, if there's lines already in there in the way, this way I can at least put the station in first and then I can start looking at reconnecting lines around it. I don't know if we've got that much more that needs to be done on this, to be honest. Whether that will ever become an issue. We still need to take out our competitor, but we're just concentrating on our businesses at the moment. And that's just generating a huge, vast sums of money to the point that uh, once we are ready to take out our competitor, we should be able to do it pretty much instantly. Okay, so that's those signals done. We need salt from here, from Becca Drill Hole. route those onto that platform. Like that. And then this line. Is going to come down here. bother with a tunnel. Just going to go around the edge of the mountain. Ah, that's a station there. That's why we can't go parallel just there. So we, we can go about as far as here. And then we get a little bit too close to that station. So from this point here, I have to kind of pull away a little bit. I don't mind a little bridge just there, that'll do. Again, it's going to be a monster long line, but it will be worth it in the end. And of course, by running parallel, we've got ourselves a supply tower built into the route already, which is handy. We're going to need more than that. Look how long this line is. Signals down here. There we go. Let's check those all look pretty good. Yes, they do. I can't believe how long that line is. Uh, we need some trains. We need lots of trains. Becca drill hole running all the way through into here. 
That's a huge root. I'll just snag at eight trains. It's an insanely large number of trains, but they won't all make it that far. Uh, some of those are going to run empty for a while, but they will catch up and start uh, loading up. Let's run four trains on there for now. Uh, I want to go in oops, to here, make sure that there's a maintenance station on that. Uh, I also want to expand the business. By creating the demand for the salt, actually, we may as well just level that up right now. It's already at level three, look. Yeah, we'll just leave it at level three. That's fine. I and mean, if we buy it, it's not, it's not expensive, is it? 1.4 million. I was expecting that to be much higher than that. About two, three times the, the price of that. There we go. So we've got a new food industry going in over here. That's good. These trains we could route onto this station here, but that would break all of those connections. I've uh, got some bad trains. Let's uh, replace all of them. Quick and easy way of doing that. How are we doing on objectives? Uh, still need to work on the cities. Need to put our competitor out of business. Uh, oh, we spent so much money. Well, we have cleared the bonds, which are now worth 13 million each. How much is our company worth compared to our competitor? His entire company is worth 13 million. But his share prices are quite expensive. I mean, look at the price of our shares. They're 1.5 million each. Um, but 1% of his uh, his company is worth 126, so we need to times that by 100. So we're looking at, yeah, we're looking about, his company's worth about 13 million, by the look of it. If my mental math is, is right, I might be wrong on that. Uh, I saw a city grow. There it is. Up here. Magdeburg has grown. Right, okay, so this city was a two uh, a two business city that had declined to the point that when we took out the second business, its population was only about 27,000, I think, if that. So we couldn't put the second business back in because it could no longer support a second business. Now we've got a chance to actually put something in. Uh, so let's take a look at this surrounding area. I think uh, a furniture industry would be good because we could take the boots, some of the leftover boots from Berlin for the leather and obviously wood from our plant just here and we could make ourselves a nice little furniture industry just here which could s quite happily supply furniture into Brandenburg and Berlin. Let's go ahead and do that. Drop in a little furniture. Uh, business just there. Let's check our connections. We've got Brandenburg to Berlin, Gurk Manor. Okay, uh, did the Magdeburg trains route down here? Yes, they did. And when it leaves Berlin, I want it to focus on boots. There we go. Oh, I just bid on something I didn't actually mean to. It popped up as I pressed X. So we're buying uh, a sheep breeding near Ostrov. I have no idea where Ostrov is. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it's all the way over there. Way away from anything that we've got connected up. That's useless to us. Okay, we're back in Magdeburg. So how's the brewery doing? I'm getting plenty of beer coming in, or plenty of pops. We need to expand this business now so it can support itself and also some of those surrounding towns and export that beer. 
Uh, Brunswick is really struggling. Brunswick isn't even getting the basic grain that they need. Let's get a couple of those running. Uh, how are we doing over here in Brandenburg? Plenty of goods. Let's expand that industry. Plenty of products. Let's expand that industry. Uh, it's not shipping anywhere at the moment. Why isn't it shipping anywhere? Let's pick a low volume town and see what population requirements are needed for smoke. Oh, 110,000. Ouch. I didn't realise it was that low or that high a population requirement. So, yeah, no wonder that's kind of stopped. Coppice has got to be getting close, though. Yeah, see, Coppice is ready. So, why are we not shipping meat, you know, smoked meat, to Coppice? We should be. Are they already full of, uh, of that? No. See, they've got a demand for it, but they're just not getting them. Why is that? Oh, no, wait, I'm looking at the wrong business, the wrong city. Brandenburg. We need a connection between Brandenburg and Cottbus. And we don't have one anymore. Uh, we took that train out, for some, I think. So, Brandenburg goes to Cottbus. There we go. And that'll shift the uh, smoked meat. Look at that. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to run the one train for now. I might duplicate that once that gets to there. Uh, so that's almost about to become city number four. Uh, what are they also short on? Quite a few things. We've got two trains from the warehouse. Fine. Let's just check on the warehouse. Vorms has grown. Good, good, good. I've got that extra growth triggered over here. That should be 120,000. It is. Excellent. So, we're now up to four of our ten cities at the right level. Berlin. Let's check on Berlin. I'm not producing boots fast enough at the moment by the look of it. We could do with more pigs coming in as well. So uh, let's find a pig train. There's a pig train. Let's clone that and get an extra couple of trains going in. Plenty of boots in stock. Needs more wool. Is that the only train from the warehouse going to Berlin? It is. Okay, that's a problem. I want at least four trains. Because it's not just wool, it's also sugar beets that's a requirement as well. Uh, three sets of points. What can we go with? Increasing our freights. Looking for useful things at the moment. All the stuff through here. Anything through here. Improve power. There isn't really anything excitingly 
Wow, must have that, is there? We certainly want to improve our freight uh, fees if we can, because, you know, we're running a ton of freight, so... That was attempting, but we're not really concerned about the cash in that respect. Let's just improve our freight. Uh, oh, got a spy. Yes, we'll uh, we'll try and steal a bit of technology as well. Might as well. Might steal something old. Loads of issues down here. Loads of trains running low on supplies. Not surprising. This is an insanely long run. Put one in the middle there as well. Oh, see that lag? <laughs> so much stuff going on on screen, it can't cope. Uh, yes, there is uh, a repair station there. Did I put one in here? No, it's definitely going to need one. There we go. Uh, getting other issues up here. Breakdown from bad condition. I thought I'd put maintenance buildings on some of these as well. Obviously not. Must have missed all of these. Stuttgart just grew. Nice. So that's 90,000 people down here in Stuttgart. So, what's our next industry going to be? We've got the distillery. Uh, we've got dairy and Vorms. Uh, we've got a new food industry in Vorms. I'm just wondering if we've got grain nearby. This is where I can put my bakery. Got a grain there. We've got a bakery in Freiburg as well, but I oh know we've got bakery there as well. So we don't want another bakery. We've got plenty of bakeries. Uh, what about a candy factory? No, we've got a candy factory in Worms, so that's going to be clashing for the same customers. We could go maybe with the porcelain industry. There's the coal. There's the other material which I keep forgetting how to pronounce or what it's called. Uh, but that's in the other territory which we haven't unlocked yet. And there isn't another nearby source until we go all the way back up there. Ah, okay, so that kind of rules out porcelain. Furniture. Where's our wood source? Because we don't have a furniture dealer anywhere around here, do we? And we've got wood close by, and we've got boots being produced here in Stuttgart. So yes, a furniture industry here is perfect, I think. Uh, we'll place that there. And I'm going to expand that straight away. There we go. Uh, am I getting much wood into the city? I've got 14 logs currently. So yeah, plenty of raw materials there. That city will get up to 120, hopefully reasonably quickly. Especially now that we're getting sugar beets in there as well. I've uh, got grain here. Where is the grain coming from? I think it's coming from all the way over there. Let's running grain from down here. Oh, got salt down there as well, look. I just realised I could run the salt from there through into Vorms that way. Never mind. 
We've got our salt connection up and running now. Signals. There we go. Uh, we're going to supply tower in. from one regional business to another there. That wants to run to there. And we'll also run to there. But first... Let's put a bypass in place. I need to rebuild that. Let's go with the external External crossover first, I think. That's going to be an easier way for us to do this. There we go. that train it looks like it's looping that way but once we get it started it'll actually loop the right way so let's stick a train on there and there you can see that's now looping through that'll help out uh, I see another city growing symbol that might be one we've already dealt with that's cop bus hitting 120,000 very nice so we're up to five of ten cities now. Poston is closing in as well. That's almost there. Stuttgart will get there. Worms is already there. Let's get a warehouse here in Brandenburg. Sorry, a warehouse, a museum in Brandenburg. Keep that growth going. Uh, they are full on meat again. Let's... Try and get another train shipping that out. There it goes. That'll stimulate some more growth here at the smokehouse. She's currently out of wood, so we need to get more wood going into the smokehouse. Let's get two new trains on that line, because there was only one. And I think that's where we'll end this particular episode. Uh, we'll come back next time. We'll get an extra couple of cities, hopefully almost there. Uh, and then we'll look at uh, unlocking the other territory and buying out our competitor uh, in one fell swoop. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with some more Railway Empire patchwork for the Germany DLC here on the PS4 very soon.